Today, students, you're welcome to class once again. I'm Mr. Joseph James, and today we shall be looking at the topic tenses in English language. I noticed that many English speakers they find tenses very difficult. They don't know when to use the, a particular verb to reflect past, present, future, or a past that has been completed. So that is the reason we shall be looking at tenses in English language. What are our objectives for today? By the end of this lesson, um, you should be able to give the meaning of tenses. You should be able to give the meaning of tenses. Mention and write the different tenses. Use verbs in sentences in their correct tenses and write an essay with appropriate tenses. All right. Now, what do we mean by tense? Tense is simply refer to the various verb distinction. Now, verb distinction to show distinction of distinction of time or duration. What does this mean? It simply means the forms verbs take to show time and to show a duration within which an action took place. That is what we mean by tense. Now, let us look at um, types of tenses. Let's start with the first one. We have simple present. Simple present. What is simple present? It means an action that is habitually carried out. Something that, it, that, that happens often, or a universal truth or fact. Take for example, she goes to school every day. This is a habit, something that is often done. Or let's say um, fishes swim in water. That is a universal truth. So we use um, simple present tense to show something that happens regularly or something that is a fact, that is a universal truth that doesn't change. Now we also have simple past, simple past. Look at this example. He bought a car yesterday. What does simple past mean? It means an action that took place in the recent past and has ended there. An action that was completed, perfected in the past. It just took place in the past. He bought a car yesterday. Now we have the present continuous, or what some persons we call the present progressive. Now, it's, look at this example. The children are playing. The children are playing. It talks about an action that is progressing now. An action that is taking place even right now. That is what a progressive, uh, the present progressive. What about the past continuous? The past continuous, it talks about an action that started in the past and continued to a particular point in the past. Look at this. I was sleeping when she came. I was sleeping when she came. An action that took place in the past and it continued in the past. That is past continuous. And then we have the present perfect. The present perfect. What is the present? The present perfect talks about an action that started in the past and ended at some point in the past. It started at the past and ended at some point just in the recent past. Just in the recent past. Take note. In the recent past. In the recent past. That means when this action ended, is not so far from the present time. Look at it. The plane has arrived. It's like we are seeing the plane just arriving now. We are there seeing the plane arrive. So it's talking about an action that was completed in the recent past. That is um, present perfect. And then we have the past perfect. Look at this example. She had eaten the food before she realized it was meant for the dog. How do I know? Past perfect always talks about an action that started and completed in the past before another action took place and was also completed in the past. Let me repeat it again. A past perfect tense is used to show an action that was completed in the past before another action completed in the past. Let's look at this. She had eaten the food, an action completed in the past, before she realized another action completed in the past. She realized it was meant for the dog. So do you see the difference between past perfect and present perfect? Present perfect simply shows an action completed in the recent past, while past perfect is used to show an action that was completed in the past before another action in the past. Then we have the present perfect continuous tense. Look at this. I have been reading since 2 o'clock. It talks about an action that started in the past and progressed into the present. It progressed into the present. It started from the past and progressed into the present. I have been reading since 2 o'clock. Now, if you come to, to the day, you see the person still reading. But the person did not just start reading now. The person started reading in the past. Now, look at this one. Past 
perfect continuous. She had been singing before she learned to play the piano. Now, this one is talking about an action that started in the past and it's lingered on, progressed, and ended in the recent present. And then we have the simple future, we shall travel tomorrow. Talking about something that will take place in the nearest future. Then we have future present continuous. I shall be eaten by that time. I shall be eating. Something that will be going on in the future. Now, future perfect. I shall have written the essay by next week. Something that will be completed in the future. And future perfect continues. Something that, look at this one. By next year, I will have been playing. Something that will start somewhere in the future, progress into to, to a, a particular point, and probably end somewhere. I believe we have learned one or two things from this lesson. I will be giving you some other materials that will help you. I will also make reference to some pages in your books, in your textbooks, that will help you understand tenses better. Have a nice day. God bless you.